Hey, welcome to ABC Tutor LLC. I'm your host, Veronica Steele. Welcome to Ask the Teacher. Ask the Teacher is a Q&A platform where you can ask questions about your child's early childhood development or the CDA process. Today, we're talking about the preschool CDA, safe, healthy learning environment. We're focusing on safety today. Right, I'm so glad that you joined me today. Thank you so much. I hope this video can bless your life. Today we're talking in our preschool, it says preschool edition. This is the competency standard book that you should have. If you're doing infant toddler, your book should say infant toddler. If you're doing family child care, your book should say family child care, infants and toddlers. All right, all right, home visitors as well. It should actually say the representation of the CDA that you're seeking. All right, Home Visitor has a few more things as well. We'll do a video on that soon as well. So turn with me to preschool, preschool competency standards at a glance. It is on page 40, on page 40 of your competency standards book. So let's talk about safety. So a lot of focus on just the teaching aspect when your PDS specialist comes out. Remember, there are three teachers in the room that we're looking at. We're looking at you, T1. We're looking at your associate teacher just to see how she's learned from you in that modeling. We're not assessing her, but if she's saying things like good job and you're not saying good job, hmm, where does she get that modeling from? And remember, if your co-teacher is saying good job, your PDS specialist is expecting you to say something to them in a professional way. So if they're saying, good job, Cindy, I seen you tie your shoe, you can model without embarrassing your coworker. Yeah, Sandy, I see you tied your shoe. How do you feel about it? And then maybe pull your coworker to the side and tell her, remember, we're doing encouragement, not praise not to embarrass her in front of the PDS or the student, but just we're looking for that communication and in that working partnership relationship. So that being said, we're also looking at the environment. Remember, teaching is more than just you directing teacher-led. It's student-led. It's cooperation. It's the environment. Use your learning environment. Your learning environment is also a teacher. So when we look at safety in our book, we're looking at how you provide a safe, healthy learning environment and your classroom as a whole. Is it safe? Is it healthy? That means meals. That means hand washing. That means your building in particular, your classroom. Is there paint coming off the walls? Are your cords um, secure? Are the outlets covered? This, this is the, these are the things that we're checking. Are your allergies posted? It's summertime for summer camp. Is the sunscreen list posted? No, it shouldn't be out for everyone to see, but it should be in an area where the materials are kept. So your first aid area, and it should be covered. It should be labeled. And this is a list of all your allergies. Then we expect you to take a blank. Hold on, I don't want to mess up my notebook. We expect you to take, this is the allergies right here. We expect you to take this blank paper, cover up those allergies. But as you can see, it's covered, okay? So no one can see it. No one can see your allergies for you, but you. So these are some of the things that we're looking for when we come and assess you in your classroom, okay? Um, as well as, oh, staff um, lotions, staff coffees. Um, please make sure those things are not in children reach. That's important. We're looking for that. Remember, you want to score a three on your um, observation visit in that area. Okay, no one's perfect. We do know some things are a mistake, but safe, healthy, you're trying to get your CDA. You're saying you promote a classroom that's safe and healthy for young children. And we want to see that. Remember, the council sends your professional development specialist out as a verification to make sure that you're complying with the things that you told them that you're doing. You've written about it, which shows that you have competency in those areas and your six competency statements and visually seeing it. And that's what your PDS is there for. So saying that, 
one main thing you have to remember. Your first aid area should be labeled and it doesn't necessarily have to say the words first aid, but it should have that big cross, that big red cross that screams first aid emergencies. If you had a sub in your classroom or a parent volunteer and a child was hurt and you had to address the child and you're like, get it, it's over there by the sink. And they're like, where? There's a million cabinets over by the sink. You want to have it labeled for easy access. Everybody knows what that cross means. That's universal. Okay, so that red cross, um, literally it's a red T, lowercase T. So definitely want to have that red cross symbol represented in your classroom where your emergency supplies are. Now, speaking of that, if you have posters from your, you're in a school district and they've given you those beautiful posters where there's different levels in the poster and you flip it, oh, God forbid, but if they're choking, if they've swallowed something, if they've inhaled something, what do you do if they're bleeding? That's great, those charts are awesome. Just make sure they're not from 1990 something. Make sure that they're up to date. They should be up to date, because remember, we have to renew our CPR first aid cards for a reason. Things change. <laughs> so make sure that those things that are updated. Um, also, as far as the safety in the environment, let's see, I want to make sure I hit these hot points. Do, 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 do. Hand washing. Make sure that there's a hand washing sign in your um, lavatory where children can understand how the procedure for washing hands, okay? You should be also mentioning that to him, especially we're coming out of this um, pandemic. So you want to mention, don't forget, you do a little squirt on your hand and then put a little water, make some bubbles. I wanna see some bubbles and remind them to scrub their nails in the backs of their hands and then the crevices of their hands. We want them to be safe. We want you to be safe. We know that you're promoting that environment, but we need to see it. Okay, so you wanna make sure you do those things. Um, hustle, a really big one. I'm noticing that a lot of candidates have their CPR card and it's um, CPR, it's legit. However, it doesn't specify the age of what you're trained in. It just has a general, CPR, you're certified. It should say adult, child, infant CPR, standard, first aid. That's what this thing needs to say, okay? It should not just say you are certified in CPR and first aid. That's not what the council is looking for. So make sure, because with that, yes, you can perform CPR, but on who? Adults or children or infants, if that's what you're seeking your infant toddler um, CDA. All right, so I hope this video blesses you. Um, feel free to comment below. I will address some more concerns according to um, safety. Um, I didn't do health all the way. We're going to get into that. But the safety thing, I'm just seeing in a lot of my visits. So I wanna help you out so that you're prepared and you have success. Um, those are the only things that I've noticed so far. And we do understand that if you are in that building, um, you might want to bring these things up to you. If you're in a school building and there's like paint um, missing from your walls and it's not as cleanly as it should be, mention those things to your supervisor. And you may want to put that in a letter form and put it in your portfolio so that your specialist can see you are addressing the concerns, you are aware of the concerns. It's not like, huh, what? I didn't know. You need to know. This is your classroom. If a child was to ingest paint, um, pretty sure we're all done with lead paint. But even though, you do want to make sure that you know that those things are covered and that you're covered. And more importantly, that the child is covered. Um, all right. I did say I was ending the video. But just make sure those things are done. <laughs> also, um, the other the only other little thing that I've noticed is your emergency vac board. It needs to be an emergency vac board, okay? Please, please, please do not, oh, this is a big one. Do not put your, what is the plan called? 
your intruder plan, action plan, the steps that your school district has came up with, do not post that on your emergency board. Do not post that for the world to see. You do not want to see parents that come in, they could actually see what your evacuation plan is because you never know, I'm not saying that parents are going to do things that are unsafe, but you never know who's looking up. Oh, they're gonna do that step. They're gonna cover that. So you don't wanna post that. That's not for the world to see. That's for the staff to know where it is. So you may have your staff corner in the classroom. That's where you put those things, okay? That's where you put that protocol for staff. And whomever comes into your building, your director needs to let them know where that is. And you as the teacher need to let them know where that is. Do not post that for the world to see. If you're having an auntie or uncle or cousin or someone dropping the child off, everybody can see the steps that you follow. If someone was coming into the building, oh, they're gonna all go hide in the bathroom because you have it all posted for the world to see. Oh, they're going to, oh, Bluetooth they're, disconnected. sorry, it's my speaker. Sorry, that's my son. <laughs> they can see all your steps, all your protocol. So we know that it has to be in your classroom, but please do not put it wherever, wherever the world can see. That should be a staff. Sorry, this is my son. That should be a staff um, protocol only. Okay. All right. So thank you. I hope the video blesses you. And um, I'll talk to you soon. If I can think of more safety tips to help keep your children safe, you safe, your family safe, your building safe, I will definitely post them. All right. Be blessed. Bye-bye.